Hey there, plant enthusiasts. It's Whitney with NatureHills.com here to talk about our top five favorite crepe myrtles this week because they're blooming and I don't know about you, but I absolutely adore them. When researching which crepe myrtle is right for you, make sure to pay attention to the form they're growing in. They can either be grown as a shorter shrub form or a taller pruned tree. Now, without further ado, we're going to jump right in because I have a lot to say about these. Number five, Black Diamond Crimson Red Crepe Myrtle. We're starting off strong with a crepe myrtle from the Black Diamond collection. The leaves on this large shrub are dark, almost black, which creates an amazing backdrop for the bright red flowers that bloom for months. The blooms feature a spark of yellow in the center and are known to be a butterfly magnet. You'll find this to be a common theme throughout the video, but deer tend to leave these plants alone for the most part as well. Number five, Black Diamond Crimson Red Crepe Myrtle. Growing zones six through 10, bold black foliage, and an outstanding privacy screen. Number four, First Edition's Purple Magic Crepe Myrtle. At the risk of getting too punny, adding the First Edition's Crepe Myrtle to your garden really does add a splash of magic to the air. It's known for its glossy green leaves that leaf out with a red tinge and of course, the gorgeous purple flowers. The shrub stays slightly smaller than the last at around seven to nine feet, but still tall enough to make a great screen between you and your neighbors. Number four, First Edition's Purple Magic Crepe Myrtle. Growing zone seven through nine, vibrant purple blooms and powdery mildew resistant. Number three, Sioux Crepe Myrtle. If pink is more your style, then Sioux Crepe Myrtle deserves a spot in your garden ASAP. Huge light pink blooms cover the plant from early summer to fall and, in my personal opinion, would make a fantastic summer photo backdrop. It's great for gardeners looking to add spunk to the yard without the hassle as these plants thrive off of minimal maintenance and watering. Number three, Sioux Crepe Myrtle. Growing zones six through nine, low maintenance and light pink flowers. Number two, Natchez Crepe Myrtle. Of course I had to add a lighter colored crepe myrtle to the bunch and as far as white blooming plants go, this is one of the very best. It has excellent disease and powdery mildew resistance, glossy dark green leaves, and bright clean white flowers that bloom from early summer until late fall. As an added interest, the leaves of this crepe myrtle will turn a bright orange red in the fall. I cannot get over how pretty these look in gardens. Number two, Natchez Crepe Myrtle. Growing zones six through nine, bright white flowers and stunning fall color. And number one, the entire Great Myrtle line. Okay, okay, I know, this is technically more than one Great Myrtle, but I couldn't possibly choose just one of these brand new to the market line of Great Myrtles. What makes them so great? It's the fact that I could grow them right here in zone five. That's right, these shrubs are rated for USDA growing zones five through nine and are nice and compact for those of us with smaller gardens and limited space. You can expect these to get only about two to three feet tall and wide. Choose from Cherry Delight, Red Velvet, French vanilla or cotton candy to create the heat loving, southern feeling garden of your dreams. Or, you know, at least my dreams. Number one, Great Myrtles. Growing zones five through nine, first zone five hardy Great Myrtle, and comes in multiple colors. And that's the top five Great Myrtles. Do you have a Great Myrtle growing in your garden? Let me know which down in the comments so that I can vicariously live your warm southern plant life. If you'd like more information on taking care of crepe myrtles, visit our hashtag ProPlantTips blog. We have a lot of tips and tricks for keeping crepe myrtles happy and healthy. We also have a blog just on crepe myrtles that you should definitely check out. Links are in the description. Loving the top five lists and want more plant-related content? I love getting suggestions and requests and it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe to our YouTube page. If you're a plant enthusiast, always looking for more plant info and inspiro, then our Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter pages are for you. See you over there. And until next time, happy planting.